friends or did you what was the what was the deal we didn't break up as um as Killians. we just decided to pursue our old our own individual careers mm. so we have very good friends still very we are brothers actually mm. and whenever we need to meet up and make something happen we do that but you know i have my own thing going on jay still has his own thing going on mm. Jay Tan has his own thing going on. Jay, Ball Jay has his Ball own Jay thing going on. It's doing Ball Jay beats. Yeah. It's really good, it's really good at what he does. So. I know. Let's talk about Music Box for a minute. Yeah. You remember those days? Yeah. Could you could you do could you do a quick intro no, to Music Box? No, no. <laughs> I, used to, I used to do Music Box on Foresight mm -hmm. TV. It was interesting because it got me very outspoken. You know, mm -hmm. it, it helped me to really speak when it came to you know being on camera and mm -hmm. public and, mm -hmm. and stuff. Like that. Music box supported by 4SG, 100% trendy, and brought to you by MTN everywhere you go. We've got the main man himself, probably the fastest rapper in the country. What's good, my man? We enjoyed it. It was me and J Town, mm. and yeah, it was really interesting. Mm. It was really interesting. What well, was the best part of it? The best part of it was pointing into the open air. <laughs> and not knowing so what you were pointing at. Button. Yeah, just like that. Mm -hmm. Made us look very, 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 like it was weird, but. But to so the average watcher, I mean, what we saw in the end of the in day the end, was. At the end of the day. You are pointing at something. Yeah, you know, the directors and the editors are very smart. Yeah. You know, they put something over there, so point. It was really interesting. Yeah. You came out with Why. Yeah. Remember, Which yeah. was sort of like your first single thingy, it was sort my of? first official single. Because yeah. remember before why I had um, Soulfly mm -hmm. with um, Wolf and Jay Foley. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that was a crazy that track. That was a crazy track. That was and a crazy before track. Before that we had um, Go Smoke Joy. <laughs> I did want to talk about this. <laughs> so we've been, I mean, we've been trying Doing to make it, it forever. For it for a I long know. Time. When you came out with uh, Obumo oh and God, yeah, and yeah. one gutter for your pocket and all of that, which really caught on. You know, I was like, L he's done it. We decided that Obumo was going to be a bonus track on the album. If it's going to be a bonus track, let's just experiment with it and see what happens, mm -hmm. so that we can test the water, test the market, and see what happens. And it just blew up in, in, the, in our faces. It was. Very unexpected, but the video caught on and the song caught on, mm -hmm. and now everywhere you go, you, you keep hearing all over the place. But you seem to be getting really comfortable with the ga hooks yeah. slash those, the obuma, the kal. Oh, I love kal. It's crazy. Yeah, and liako mami ganyoni. You know, but osetto ya miwa. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. P.S. Let me cut into this to say that. No. L is no, crazy no, about. No, no. <laughs> if you ever want to get into this man's books, good books, <laughs> get him kinky or banku. He would love you for the rest of your life. Plenty pepper, oh and uh, he <laughs> likes a lot of fish. Yeah. Tilapia if he gets it, but yeah, fish in general. Kinky or banku, 100%. Okay. So let's talk about your videos for a minute. Yeah. Let's start with the Obumo. Yeah. So did you really, it was a regular Bentley that you sprayed into a taxi. I want to know because I want to know if you unsprayed it after. Oh, it's, it's did you mess up someone's it's Bentley? It's a Medina station. It's, it's a Medina, Medina station. station. Yeah, it's, it's a real taxi. The Bentley is a mm, Medina station. It's very expensive. How much does it charge here? You have to book ahead of time. So from here to the Accra Mall. So oh, you pay like some 2000 Two thousand Ghana CDs, yeah. <laughs> okay. But basically, this, it's a it's, it's it's a Bentley we sprayed as a taxi mm, for the video and cleaned it to get back to normal. Well, uh, as to whether it's back to normal or oh, not. Oh, it's still a taxi. We'll leave mm, it at that. We'll leave it at that. Okay. Now, after that video, I saw another video with yeah. Sama Jitifio, yeah, yeah. where you wanted to marry his daughter. His daughter, yeah. And yeah. <laughs> and then he and it turns into audition. something else. Dear Isabella, I wrote this letter for you. I love you like a fat boy love buffaloes. Get out! Daddy, this whole thing is ridiculous. How about you let me choose from my You shut up! Oh yeah, boy, boy. about a guy who is trying to find the perfect guy for um, his daughter mm -hmm. and people come and audition and he finds me he knows all my music 
and so he's trying to perform my song for me while I'm trying to, you know, get, get his girl. Get to and he didn't even give you his daughter in and the end. At the end of the day, he kicked me out of the house. <laughs> that was so, funny. Yeah, yeah, very interesting. <laughs> Do you have any other crazy concepts like that coming up? Wow, the Kalu video is going to be crazy. It's going to be off the hook because we have really taken our time with this one. Mm -hmm. And you know, the videos have, have to go like that. It has to be the, the next one has to surpass the one before. I can't tell you the concept. Is that no, 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 of course, because we have to. It has to be uh, a surprise so it can work 100% yeah, when it comes out. Uh, How many girlfriends has EL had since he came into this world? <laughs> uh, girlfriends. <laughs> I've had one real girlfriend. Okay. One very, very real girlfriend. Okay. In my whole life. And, but love is great. And every, no, 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 no. And then everyone else? Because you can't tell me. People are watching, and I'm sure there's a, a girl who has definitely hung out with Elle before and thought, ah, she was the one. <laughs> now she's going to feel yeah, like, that's oh. what I'm talking about. <laughs> Smart man. Talking about you, baby. No, but I've seen you with more than one person. I've yeah, known you. I mean, they were my girlfriend. Is right? Yale a good kisser? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I haven't kissed myself <laughs> for some time now. If you had to rate yourself on a scale of one to ten, I don't know. I haven't kissed myself. <laughs> So but let's ask the ladies that El has kissed, which is definitely ladies. more than one lady. Wow. If El has ever kissed you before, please let us know. Rate him on a scale of yeah, one to ten Twitter. on Twitter. <laughs> Gonna and let's see how I know. Let's see how that goes. So let's talk about you and Sakura on the You Go Kill Me track. Mm -hmm. Honestly, at first I didn't even know you had anything to do with it. So well, how did that happen? Sakura and I have worked on more than more than one track. Mm. Not actually, and that track came out, and it just. Caught fire. And the beat was produced by me and Crankman, not just me. You okay. know, I always say this every day. Crankman brought the beat, he had the original idea, and we added it, took away some stuff, and made it happen. And and so. Shout Sakura out to Crankman. Yeah, shout out to Crankman. Sakura, they came in, and then we went on the beat, and he was like, yo, let me hop on this. And I said, sure. Hmm. Being such a kind hearted and cool guy. And he just hopped on that. Well, did you guys plan, like, to do the track, did you call Sakura and tell him to come to the studio, or no, was it? Did it Sakurai just happen? He likes that. He just appeared. Yeah. In the studio, we were there, and there he was. <laughs> and <laughs> he didn't tell anybody he was coming. He was just there, and then he came in. And the thing with Sakura, he's one of the most. He's actually one of the most talented artists in that he can move and make something happen, no yeah. matter what. Yeah. Know? He's, he's just like that. He has all. He has a whole dictionary of and, rap. Yeah, that's true. He said he that's can true. pick and choose. Yeah. So um, he just had that rap and he put it on it and it was like. One word to describe my work is classic. They should call me Gandalf. I'm on the track. It's magic. I lay bars are spectacular. My passion is to bring change and view the world through Obama's glasses. They say we don't fit in. We in the wrong business. Our confidence before the song's finished. I've seen you work with us in our studio yeah. when we started off back in Asylum Down. Mm -hmm. From there, we moved to Osu. Yeah. You were still working with us, and then he moved to the studio. Let's talk about that for a minute. I had an offer from Obo. Mm -hmm. He had this old studio that he wanted to, you know, start working in again. Mm -hmm. So he asked me and I, if, I was, if I was interested, and I said, Yeah, I'm interested. So I saw the place. It, it was. It was a bit, you know, shaky. Broken down, yeah, I know. A bit broken down. But you down, did turn it around, though. Yeah, we both turned it around. Yeah. We made it work, you know. We had a few problems here and there when it came to the, the structure itself. Sometimes the roof would leak and all that. But, you know, that was the beginning of something beautiful. That's when I actually started recording my album, Something mm. Else. Mm. I decided to record my album when I got into that studio. Mm. Like, Let's do this. Mm. So it was a beginning point. And I pass there every day and I get, I get goosebumps mm. because I'm like, wow, look where we started, look where we are now. Yeah. Now I have a very beautiful studio. Oh, you're yeah, in, a, so in now, a skyscraper. Yeah, <laughs> skyscraper. State of the art studio. Yeah, we have a, we have a beautiful studio, the BBNC Live mm. Studios. Um, it's on the Ring Road. We have, it's it's all the way up there. It's on the fifth floor. We have to take the elevator to get up there. Mm. It's a bit intimidating when you get into a studio like that. You become very like, wow, can I afford this? This mm. is beyond mm. me. But mm. we're very friendly. Mm. You know, we're very cool. We make beautiful music at a very beautiful, luxurious studio. I know mm. a lot of artists have worked with you. Yeah. Like, so we've spoken about some of them already. Yeah. But how many artists 
Wow. I can't can you walk into your studio. When you come into the studio, we have a wall where all the artists have who come signed in have because signed. Because I've seen and that. And the wall is almost full. Mm. I can't mention all of them. Mm. I can't. Yeah. There's so many. And we have from um, the most unlikely people coming in there, like Omotola coming in there to mm -hmm. record a song, mm. to the most basic, I mean, you would expect them to come every to the studio, every day person to come into the studio. Mm. Um, you know, so many people, from the known to the unknown, mm. everybody has been in there. And they keep coming, they keep coming. And we have a lot of fun there. Ignis has been there, you know. Ignis brings Hennessy. <laughs> and parties in there. Yeah, parties in there. So shout out to the crew. Yeah. Your performance at the Ghana Music Awards. Yeah. Awesome. I, I actually BB'd your manager and BB'd you, which you never read. I don't know what's up with your BB. Mm -hmm. uh, but I BB'd you when I said I cropped because I couldn't believe people. I was watching it like, that's L. That's the, my L that I know. And everybody was going crazy and yeah. screaming and they knew all the lyrics to your tracks. That yeah, was yeah. so beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I was I was I was flattered as well, you know. I, I was just the the, the whole procedure, the, yeah. The whole journey and getting to a point where everybody knows your name and knows your lyrics mm -hmm. is very flattering. And I really, I, I just appreciate all the love that I, I get and continue mm. to get from mm. my fans out there. So you know the Hip Hop Awards are coming up really soon. Yeah. And you are a part of it. Yeah. Not just as a hip hop artist, but also apparently you're in charge of the Cyphers. Yeah. Welcome stormy weather. Scratch that. I'm awaiting it. I wake up. I'm facing it. I'm anticipating it. As long as I got a strong body, strong mind. That light at the end of the tunnel is all mine. Hip hop is actually what's gotten me where I am right now. If it wasn't for hip hop music, I don't think I'd be making be beautiful music and rapping Ghana in, in, in the way that I am right now. I'm so happy because, you know, it's something that uh, we have been talking, you know, I used to work at Foresight, so we've been talking about this for a very long time and I'm just happy that it has materialized finally and I'm just hoping that at the end of the day, at the end of that night, everybody goes home happy. The beat ready for the cypher. It's ready. We've already had Manifest come through to the studio to do something hot on it. So we're going to be getting all the artists who have to be on that beat to come to the studio and we're going to make it happen. Something beautiful, something epic is going to go down. And the cypher is going to be historic, Charlie. So you guys, get ready. It's going down. All the artists who are supposed to be on this, you know, we have to get together and like the Justice League, get up there in the studio and make it happen. I'm going to be calling in you guys. We need to make it happen. It's the foresight. Hip hop award. I have to let you go, Al. Okay. But thanks for hanging out with us. And uh, I don't know if you want to shout out anyone. You want to yeah, say anything um, real quick? Shout out to all, all my friends out there. I love you guys. Thanks for the support. Um, to the haters, thanks for the support. To my family, my friends, and to God. Thank everybody out there. Follow me on Twitter, E L Rep G H. Let's chat. I'll follow you right back. My album is coming out as well. It's out already. It's, it's out. in stores. It's in. Um, by now, it should be in stores. It's on iTunes as well. So just check on iTunes and Amazon for the Something Else album. I hope you guys enjoy. What's up, guys? This is Dame Dash, and I'm chilling here with Foresight TV. A brand new joint out uh, recently, but this was on Foresight TV. They spoke all about it, and now it's been chosen as the national youth anthem officially. And uh, well, the video is uh, dropping on the first of July, so you should watch out for it. It's called Midomigana. Let's go see what Baby G has for us in this week entertainment news. Okay, welcome, people, once again to another edition jam packed full of entertainment right here on Foresight TV live for you. This is your girl, Baby G, and it's the Foresight Entertainment News. So for today, at the top of the headlines, it's all about Chris Brown and Drake. Now the pair were caught up in a fight at the Whip nightclub in New York City. Several people were left injured and now according to the words on the street, Chris Brown was chilling up in the club with his entourage and a few other ladies and decided to send a bottle of champagne to the...